Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Ooh, Scott. Bart here. Bart. Bart here. Brand new to our market, the McAllen Edition number four. And we're going to test it. We're going to test it. Pen style. McAllen Sherry <laughs> Cast style. <laughs> test it. I actually didn't know what I was going to say. I was like, yeah, oh, I never know what I'm going to say. And then just magic. And then the out. biz dispenser then style kind of threw me. Yeah, I know you were like, huh? What? Which leads us into what? our Scotch God shout out. Yeah, let's start right with the Scotch God shout out. So a couple things going on here. First, Jeff Benson, El Jefe, sends, arranges some samples with a sealed envelope that says, try these in a quick hitter. And then see what you got. And in here, I have enclosed pictures of the labels. So pictures of the labels in the envelope. The samples are numbered if you want to do a quick hitters. Enjoy. In the box is a gift to you dummies, which is Pez Dispensing Dummies. Pez <laughs> Dispensing Dummies. And you pointed out these used to be T-Rexes. But there's now a they've little been thing. modified. Yeah, now my been, candy got stuck. I took one out. Now my candy stuck. You got stuck candy. I preloaded his so that the candy would be in there. These work. He sent a bag of Pez. Hello, with it and the samples. So we will be quick hitting these at a future time. El Jefe, and these dummies will eventually take a spot back here on what I want to call. I don't know, the, the, the wall of goodness? I don't know, we're going to come up with a name for the wall. It's got to be goodness, kind of like, yeah. yeah. Let's just call it the wall of goodness. Yeah. The wall of goodness. So, McAllen edition number four. Yes. We've had, um, well, we just did one Thanks. during the 12 hours of boom. I want to give this Go a ahead. Rinse. Keep going. Uh, edition two and three we've done. Now, in all these editions, they've paired with somebody who helped... The master distiller formulate that specific bottling. Right. McAllen has said we wanted to try different things rather than just our normal old Rosso sherry butt goodness. Right. Goodness. That's right. They do do a good. So on this one though, and honestly, I have have, I have, have we done any research on this? Nope. No. Matter of fact, Here. I'll ask you, and you're like, no, that would be research. We're the dummies. Yeah. <laughs> we want to now, judge it by the juice. That's what that's what our review is based on. What's in this bottle, and is it any good? Is it worth, worth it. your money? Is it worth it? So this edition, just looking at the box, which it's I peated. was just doing, it's peated. it is not peated. I did open it. Well, I just bought this yesterday. I opened it last night and had a little sample. Okay, but I'm going to pour while you talk. Th th they did not partner with anybody on this. This is just a creation from their master distiller, okay. Nick Savage. Oh, which I like the name. I like the, I, if I changed my name, oh. it would be to Nick Savage. Yes. You so, know what? You could change it to Savage. I could change it to Slaughter. We'd be Slaughter and Savage. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, now, we could be Savage Slaughter. One thing I don't have to research, this is fifty or 48.4% for the fourth edition. The third edition was 48.3, 48.2 for the second edition, and 48.1 for the first edition. That's impressive. So Look they do go through. The top of your head. Yeah. They list out there's a, so there's seven different casks that were involved in the, in addition four. They're listed on here, on the back. They kind of give you a graph of a percentage type base of first fill, second fill, European oak, American oak. They go through what butts, hogsheads, uh, rosado butts, Martin butts, butts and punchins, hog more hogsheads. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Do you name it? I need a Mark Gillespie. That's Special episode just to cover all those different barrel types. I know it. Behind the label. And I'm just going to, I see you poured my sample a I little light. <laughs> I'm going to need a little more. <laughs> we can even switch. I've tried to pour them both yeah, no, light. Be responsible. Right. I do have an Aqua Vitae coin here. I've got um, a shirt. You have know. a shirt. I have his coin. You can get both the shirt and the coin, I believe, off his website. Uh, while supplies last, please go support. I'm not sure if he has them on his website or if they're just email, if he's taking emails. Got it. Well, not comment sure. on his channel. Yeah. <laughs> we love the Aqua Vitae. I've and got a he cask. He gave me a 57. I've got a cask four coin here. 
uh, still up cask four is just brand new to market it's still up for pre-sale pre-order yeah, if you have a cask three coin uh, you can order one we'll send you the same number you have to have the cask three coin to get the mm -hmm. same number in cask four i bet you all have a one and before long um well we've got right now you'll get a signed four by six picture with your pre-order of cask four when we're done, when those pictures are out, and then we'll go to like we'll use them in a show, and then you'll first of all, I got a tickle on a potential sneeze coming. Just like, you know. so, let's say we know this uh, ed edition one was pretty dark, very heavy sherry influence. Oh, yeah, I get sherry here too. Two was a lot lighter, a lot sweeter, still good sherry. Edition three was really light on the sherry, really good bourbon cask influence going on. This one is supposedly one of the more darker sherry ones. There ones. you go. Right there at the very end. Sherry seasoned oak. I get all over the nose. So, oh, yeah. Dark. Yeah. Yep. I'm not the sherry but, master, but I got the sherry. Yeah, but there's also... Boom shot the sherry. It's also light at the same time. It's like dark. Boy, that dark chocolate prune is there, but then there's also a... Sweet oak. I was going to say, I got a heavy Citrus. The wood influence was in there. Do you like my who shot the sherry thing? That was pretty good. Oh, yeah. Who shot the sherry? I heard you singing. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The finish here is phenomenal. It's fruity. Mm. Raisiny mm. plum on the finish. Ooh, big plum on the finish. Wow, still kind of popping up. Wow. Isn't that something? I wasn't getting little, as much until it was gone. Almost a little bit of a black pepper spice as well up front. Moves into sherry. And almost moves into like a compass box, Klein Leash finish. Wow, that's a little one. Like a blend almost. almost because it becomes so sweet, it transitions from the dark sherry into this lighter sweetness. Yeah, I get that dark brown sugar in the front. Wait till it, I was gonna say wait a while and it'll linger around and hit you a plum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, midway through to the finish is where the plum starts coming in for me. Even like the prune, that prune sweet Plum and prune raisin flavor. Wow. Toffee, let, burnt toffee. Okay. And let this one just linger around. It was, oh, I yeah. kept getting these pops of plum. Yeah. A plum. Yeah, plum. the darker fruits are in there. But it's, it's okay. It's like. There it was again. Yeah. Plum plop. <laughs> plum plop. Plum plop. Dark chocolate, coffee. I was going to say some chocolate. I do not get coffee. <clears throat> want another plum plop it's almost like okay you have sherry cask influenced whiskeys and then you have exclusive sherry cask sherry bombs and it's almost like this was heading we're going to let this be a sherry bomb and just as it's approaching sherry bomb status yeah. they cut it off yeah, it doesn't hit sherry no but it's it doesn't just feel like it's just a whiskey that's had some True. sherry influence. True. Now I'm not getting a plum plop, and I want it. <laughs> I want the plum plop. It would literally be like this little one second, like neuron would go, and I'd go plum, and and then it stopped. Come on, give me a plum plop. I'm looking for more notes. I mean, we've pretty much covered it. Those dark sherry notes, Oloroso sherry notes, I get. I don't necessarily get um, PX notes um, or lighter raspberries, stuff like that. It's definitely more the the dates, the plums, yes. the raisins, yes. maybe some cherry, um, chocolate-covered cherry as well. There's coffee, there's toffee, there's chocolate. I get everything you said but the coffee. I definitely get the toffee, but not the coffee. Mm. I want more plum plops. And it's good neat. I need to add a drop of water. Very good neat. Very good neat.
this is definitely now three got some heat took some heat because it wasn't as sherried as most McAllen's are yeah I still found it delicious and I've gone back to it a few times I think two has been my now well, I mean until we went back to one two had been my favorite I really liked addition two this one definitely supersedes two and three going back to that darker sherry influence i need to try them all head to head yeah i think i just got your coffee note mm. it was the uh it was definitely like a fresh brewed coffee for a second wow there's all these little tiny yeah. little and then gone and then wow. you know i just got a lighter tropical note more like a pineapple up front and I did not get a chance to pre-sample this. Mm. Wow, that first open is that dark fruit. Yeah. Like like a a drop of syrup, but not sweet. Wow. Mm. That's something. That is good. This may be my favorite. <laughs> wow. That is really something. Because mm. before, I wasn't getting so much on the forefront. It was there, but that last little drop was like, wow. Doing a lot of weird noises. The brown sugars, the all spices, the cinnamon, nutmeg, maybe even hazelnut. Very good. I think people are going to love this, man. This, this is really good. I don't think my sherry palate's as sophisticated as yours, but I definitely got a plum plop. <laughs> the same passion that wow that is good wow mm. 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 I'm trying to figure out my score mm -hmm. here because this one's in a little bit of uncharted territory for me let me sip a little bit more, and then yep, I'm gonna give that's it. That's fine. You. I'll go into a uh, traveling dummy. Mm. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now I'll tell you, it just kind of seems like, like I say, it's almost like it was heading for sherry bomb status. They're leading it along on the leash, and they're like, "Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. You're, you're there. You're getting there." And then just, blah, bam! They put it like a wall right in front of it. Well, never, it's like, oh, should you let it, maybe you should have let it just keep uh, getting a little bit more, Sherry. I, I don't think so. Maybe I think they've hit a it's good. beautiful magic it's here good. because Sherry Bomb, this yeah. is a bomb that has not quite detonated, but I don't want it to detonate. Mm. I want it to linger and last, and it, it doesn't just go... Because some of those bombs, they just fruit you up front. Boom, fruit. And then you're like, yeah, okay. And then maybe you get a little wood. I get so many more things in here, and I don't know how they did it. We're going to give a traveling dummy shout out to Scott Monroe, uh, known as Kilted Moose on oh. uh, social media. He's at Brook Lottie with mm. his Cask One coin. Look at that. Oh, gee. Oh, gee, and I like yes, how he stair-stepped those, those barrels like he did. He framed that shot. He's an early adopter with that edition. Now, there was only 250 coins of edition, of cask one. And we, we kept the first one through 50, which we've made matching sets with. Right. with all the And I have 57. So there's only 200 cask one coins out there in the wild. I like Actually, 201 now. Shot. Right. 201 because Richie Z won. Yep. We, we had that. We did a we did one the, for charity for the charity one, uh, number 50 matching set. One with cask one, two, and three of uh, serial numbered number 50. And Richie Z won it. So, shout out to Scott Monroe, Kilted Moose 91. Mm. This is good. Um, there's more going on here than a sherry bomb, and that is good. Yeah. Well, and that's that's the argument when you do a sherry bomb is that the sherry influence can overpower all of the distillery characteristics. Which I'm going to tell you, I kind of liked. But that's because it's almost like in that's the true. peat that's a, world. That's a good point. But it's in the peat world where I like that peat coming right at you. And even as my peat palate's refined, say that five times, refined peat palate. 
refined. I like palette, picking up palette, different little palette, things palette, tucked in. Palette, palette, refined, palette, palette. You did good on that. <laughs> I like finding the little subtleties even in the peat, whereas I like a sherry bomb, but I feel there's a lot more going on here. A lot more. Did you say it fine? What was that? What were you doing? Yeah. No, I was thinking because this is going to air on Saturday, the 16th of September. You have one more day uh, to reserve your, if you want to come to our fifth anniversary uh, gathering, uh, fifth birthday party in Wichita, Kansas, October Whiskey 19th gathering. and 20th. 19th. We have a block of room set aside. It's on uh, scotchtestdums.com. Go to the events page. Our fifth anniversary gathering is on there. There's a link to the Drury Inn. We have a block of rooms reserved. You'll get a lower rate, but you only have until the 17th, which right. is tomorrow from when this airs. There'll be some dummy shenanigans, demigans going on. Now, they they could have some rooms available after them, but it won't be at the discounted rate that we got for the block of rooms. Right. And there's going to be a lot of stuff centered right around the Drury. So, a lot. you know, uh, today, matter of fact, Hoyt Hemphill got with me and said, are there any rooms available yes. still? And yes. I checked, and there was. Yes, so Hoyt. He's... Point is registered. Oh, see, we got people coming. Bam. Um, go to scotchtestdummies.com. You can buy a lot of our merchandise, help support the show, support us on Patreon. We've had some um, traveling shows where we've been invited to Austin. We've been invited to Kansas City. Um, we've also now been invited down the road to St. Louis and back to Texas for another distillery down we there. I don't know if we'll be able to get to St. Louis. Yeah. My but wife's, my our wife's starting to eyeball me. Our, pay, our Patreon funds is yes. really what helps us on those. No, totally. So totally, because um, we were like, hey, we're, we went down and met with Simon Brooking from Beamson Tour, focusing on Lafroig. Dream, hello, thank you. Still love the Lafroig. And we did a little live show. You can go check that out. But we stayed right in that hotel because right around that was a kilt walk or what they call it a kilt crawl with a k and so we were able to partake in that as well and that was fun again whiskey folk or good folk um what two things Keep go going. go first of all we want to work on our own custom kilts i wasn't sure if you were going to bring that up or not. <laughs> so, because the kilt yeah. walk we had we got uh, kilts sport, from the Freud. we got sport, sport kilts, kilts. we very said light. we need our own very light so I think we're going to check into getting those made. I don't know will we sell those. Oh, they could I be. There, I mean, we're going to get authentic. Yes. Heavy. They're going to be kilts. probably expensive, so we may not be able to. But I will tease. We were, of course, looking at black and yellow for the term. Yeah, that's our colors. Mm -hmm. yeah, and we don't know how else the blend will be. I'm Maybe thinking a, a little bit of blue, like a blue, blue, little blue line. <laughs> ah, I'm loving what you're saying, buddy. I'm loving it. That was one of two things. What was two? Is it worth it? 100, and, 100 to 110, depending oh, on Oh, yeah. I yeah. think this has been my favorite one so far, but I want to try them all with each other. But I think this is my favorite. They're all good. They're all worth it. Um, this one is, is also. Yeah. Well, here's what I like, too. They're reaching out. They're doing something different. Yeah. And uh, and I we're all about different and stepping outside of the comfort zone. You know I'm out of the comfort zone all the time. Yeah. <laughs> you want to Pete? All right. So we got Jeff. Thank you. Boom. This is a cool, unique, one of a kind deal. I will you know, load it with Pez. Put it on there. What do you got? What we do you need got? To, we need to do some Patreon. We right? do need to do. We've had tons we of just, Patreons. We just did Sugarlands Roaming Man, and we did not do any. That Patreon is all right. We can up. squeeze we some in now. We didn't do it in the other one, but that's because we were happy. Start there. Can you see that? I can. Gary. Gary Highland. Gary, Gary Hillen. Hillen. I'm going to say Gary one, Hillen. One dollar supporter. Thank Woo, you, Gary. Like thanks, say these Gary. trips that we're doing, uh, our Patreon funds are helping us out tremendously. And a, and a point with all of our gas, meals, right. lodging. Yep. And we're not going to take any kind of sponsorships or anything. Uh, you know, I mean, about the only thing I'd go for is if YouTube came in and said, "You guys are great. We want to have you as a full time YouTube show." <laughs> That wouldn't happen. But if they did, I'd be like, well, that's interesting. That's not a sponsorship, though. So we have nobody sponsoring us. Nothing against those that do. Um, but uh, our Patreon fans are really going to be the ones that are helping us drive this show forward. Uh, Mark's Mark 
formerly known as Mark's Whiskey Whistle, now just Whiskey Whistle. He's cleaned he, it up. He cleaned it up. Shortened it up. Uh, also, another uh, YouTube reviewer, check out Whiskey Whistle. Whis Whiskey Whistle. Yep. Say that a, five times. Does a great job. Whiskey Whistle, Whiskey Whistle, Whiskey. I blew it right there. Whiskey Whistle, whiskey. whiskey. Yeah, that is Whiskey. See? I just messed up on the second. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, Tom Kasner, $1 Patreon supporter. Tom, Thank thanks, you, Tom. Tom. You betcha. Love it. Um, and Bill, the Whiskey Dick, who we met down in yeah, Austin. Yeah, Whiskey Dick. We had to go live with him, and then he was like, you know what? I'm going to support the dummies. Yep. I'm going to give him a little love, a little love. Do we want to fit in last one for tonight? Rick at two dollars. It's a shout. It's a shout. Yeah, you I got, know they're you sleeping. Got kids in they're the bed. sleeping. Let's uh, we'll skip that one and do that one we'll during do the day. It, Rick we'll do it later. Do we have another dollar? Let's jump to another dollar just because um, kids are asleep. Ryan McCleave. Ryan McCleave. I love the name. Mm -hmm. Ryan McCleave. Yep. See, we can do the talking ones just because yeah. <laughs> there's nobody sleeping, and one of my kids is good. a little sick. So. We are getting caught up. Actually, we had um, just in the last... Now, the thing is, we haven't met to film in the last couple of weeks. Right. We've been doing a lot of travel. The last time we did get together, we had to squeeze in a couple. We forgot to do Patreon shout-outs. Yes. Now they've backed up on us. Right. That's um, all right. We That's do, right. Yeah. We, do we have say we'll get them out in the year. $3 we don't support. ever say we'll do them right away. That's um, one thing we built in is that we'll, we'll get your name out sometime in the year. We are wanting to uh, refine our Patreon yes. um, rewards a little bit, but let's uh, let's close this out. I we'll think close we've it. We've, gabbled, we've lingered. Gabbled. Yeah, and this was more you. Enough. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies. Delicious. <laughs>